Hi guys, welcome back to South Metro Wellness. As promised, we're gonna do the Dr. Bronner soap review. I wanna wish everybody a super happy, safe, healthy fall. It's gonna be a bright, cheerful one, even though it's pretty cool, pretty fresh, and a little bit rainy outside. I'm excited for a new season. Summer was what summer was. We don't need to go over and discuss that again, but I'm so ready to start fresh. And part of that whole starting fresh is new soap and new fragrances so i'm super excited today we're going to do the review followed up from our unboxing from last week about our soap so the main product that i have used from the box has been the dr bronner liquid soap form in the lavender scent it was a very different experience the whole slippery theme it's real. You got to be careful when you're using this. I will tell you um, on my honor here, I've used this every day and it definitely still is going to take some time to get used to. When you open it up, it's super slippery. As you can see, I haven't used hardly anything and it's been over a week. We filmed on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. So it's been over a week. I started using it right away. I haven't used it in my hair just to take makeup off and just to, you don't even have to scrub. It's, it's completely different. So when you open it up, you gotta be really careful. This is pretty sturdy. You gotta try to open it up. Um, but if it gets any kind of wet, it will slip out of your hands. So this is the 32 ounce. Gotta be careful if, you, if you're if you worried about that, I would recommend getting a smaller size first, maybe or a travel size. It comes out very, very quickly. So a couple drops is gonna be like a one second pour. You're gonna get about five drops per second. So you gotta be careful with that. You put it on, lather up, it lathers up very nicely and then you put it on and whatever was on you just falls off. It's not like a regular soap where you have to lather it up in your loofah or in your hands or take the body bar soap, which we all know I'm a fan of, and actually wash. Uh, for me, it would be, I'm a sweater. Everybody knows that I'm very honest about how much I sweat. So I use deodorants and antiperspirants very regularly. I also use the sunless tanner. I don't believe in exposure to sun. If I can avoid it, I'll, all of my makeup has SPF in it. So you're gonna get some of those products that have some oil in them combined with my oily uh, type of skin by nature. So you put this stuff on and whatever was on you, you don't even wash, you just touch and you, you strip and whatever was on is just gone. And I'm like, well, well, that was weird. There's no soap, there's no suds anymore. They've just kind of disappeared right away. And all of the, there's some aluminum and zirconium and, and women's antiperspirants and deodorants from Secret, whatever brand you use, it doesn't matter. I think they all carry pretty much the same. When you go in with a Dove soap or a Caress soap, you really have to try hard to get all of that product off. And then you get that kind of off-putting, um, tacky putty type feeling that there's something still there you're not gonna have that anymore <laughs> when you put the dr bronner liquid soap on and you you touch your skin whatever was there just falls right off and it's pretty much just gone like no no mas <laughs> it, it's done for so i'm i'm washing and i'm trying out the product and i'm like well there's all my suds are gone and your skin is squeaky. So even if you put it on your face, it's, it, it's just gone. Um, and, and you go in and you're like, well, should I maybe lather some more and try it again? No, you got it all the first time. <laughs> so I think this is going to last me maybe t all of two years. I don't know. <laughs> this is a pretty big bottle. It's going to go a long way. I'm using it as a soak in the tub. Uh, was a little bit different of an experience because I probably let the bathtub fill up a little bit so I really couldn't tell when I first dropped it in it really foamed a lot then it calmed down and I think after that it's not supposed to be a bubble bath you're just supposed to let Jerry sit in there and just soak in it the smell is really beautiful it did last the entire time it's not overpowering it's not overwhelming and for giggles and other things it, it's it's a fun in a bathroom by yourself I mean I can have fun anywhere so I'm <laughs> sitting here in this tub and it was really entertaining to read all the stuff on the back of the label. That adds a lot of value to the product. It really is an experience using it. It's not just a, a, a boring product. You know, the labeling is very simple. The colors are, you know, pretty pretty standard. And, and you go in there and it's like, love your farmer. Dr. Bronner's commitment to spaceship Earth. All this stuff about catastrophic climate change on spaceship Earth. And it just talks about all these interesting things. When he says all one, a magic soap, 
it it really is a, to me at least a one of a kind i've never used a product like this granted i don't travel i'm a very simple person i'm a very simple consumer when it comes to basic things i don't necessarily need to swap out a lot i like to rotate in skincare but that's a different story um, as far as the skin concern that we were talking about i'm still using exfoliator i'm hoping that the longer i use this we will hopefully start to see at least some leveling off. It is allergy season. I have noticed the inflammation in the skin and some redness where it shouldn't be, but I'm already sneezing and it's September. The weather has changed pretty drastically, pretty much overnight. We went from 90 to 49 and it's been raining and pretty dark and pretty cool. Um, so my chemistry is a little bit upset right now. But I'm hoping that using this product and then maybe trying the bar soap will help calm some of that stuff down. I'm still using my exfoliators twice a day. I still need them because mask season is also in flu full moon, but we won't get off the beaten path on that. But as far as other uses, I think as we go here and continue with our fun product reviews uh, going in here into September, we'll probably do a product review theme for you guys. We'll take a break from um, health and wellness with chiropractic and, and car accidents and stuff like that. And we'll just focus on little things you can do at home and products that you can use to take care of your health and wellness that will keep you safe between your visits or if you're unable uh, to get to your doctor's appointments for any reason, uh, be that just being busy or being away from home or traveling or, or just you know, having to buckle down and watch your expenses and only do what you absolutely have to do. These are very affordable ways to take care of yourself. So with that, we'll go on and just wrap up the video here with our next thing. A gentleman from Savage from Epic Nutrition came in and dropped off this little, little bottle of tea here with a coupon. Um, apparently they have mango aloe, herbal tea, a nutritional shake. It's called Daily Nutrition, no, Epic Nutrition good health on the go and it's in savage minnesota apparently they're very well known in savage but not here in burnsville so somebody was over here from the company just dropping off samples and all that stuff so i believe this is the mango tea i'm going to go ahead and enjoy this today i'll give you guys a little bit of a shout out um, they do have coupons for first time visitors from burnsville egan probably anybody who's not living in savage and doesn't know about their company you could probably get half off your first visit um, and a 16 ounce shake or a 16 ounce herbal tea so that's kind of a nice little treat to try something new. Remember, even when we look at Ep um, some, a company like Epic Nutrition, he said weight loss is the big one. However, for folks like me, um, who've gone through some of the things here in the last year that we've talked about earlier, just because you don't have to quote unquote lose weight doesn't mean you're healthy and it doesn't mean you don't have to eat healthy or do little things to keep yourself healthy. So I'm going to try a small intestine uh, boost and support anti-inflammatory product and something that promotes intestinal health and let you guys know because many of us out there, if you're anything like me, it's very, very common to keep all your stress in your tummy. And when we say keeping it in your tummy, it's not just your stomach. It's typically your small bowel as well. Large bowel gets blamed a lot, but the small intestine typically is where it's where the hurt is. Okay, so definitely doing whatever you can to support that and not have your intestines be so inflamed or broken. I should talk to myself about that. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to try these products. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here and focus on trying out this product. I'll give you guys another honest review next week, as well as some more ways that we can use the liquid soap and my experience with that and um, the bar soap as well that I have not yet tried. So we'll focus on that here coming down the road. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll go ahead and meet up with you guys next week. If you have any comments, certainly leave them on the video or any suggestions, recommendations, or anything you want to talk about or see or hear. Uh, Jerry will be looking at those types of things when he goes ahead and does the posting and will relay those comments to me. So until then, have a great week. Bye.